Wow, look at those graphics. That's amazing. Have never seen that before. Wow, look at those simulations. Wow, look at that destruction physics. Never seen it before. Yeah, guns. Look at the gameplay. It's breathtaking. Wow, look at this scene. Looks so realistic. It's unreal. Never seen that before. So that was my reaction when I first saw the Unreal demos, more or less. Um, yeah, then I started making a third person realistic multiplayer shooter game. And congrats ladies and gents, we now officially have 3 projects WIP, I don't know what I'm thinking. And this is what you get when you create a project, the default mannequin with the ability to 360 no scope you and I don't know but it's happening again. I... I... I'm getting to invested in this okay enough with the pop culture references from my previous video let's get to the main deal so what you'll do first when you create a new game project i don't know about everyone but i'm gonna first create a movement system so after not so much time i created this and uh, something doesn't look right i'll be back in a minute hey epic yeah who's this you trying to scam us what I was making a movement system and it doesn't look anything like your Unreal Engine demos. It's because of the user skill level. So you saying it's my fault? Yeah, you want to know hang up the phone unlike you have the extra work to do. <sighs> hey, have you completed She-Hulk skins and emos for upcoming Fortnite patch? Yeah, working on it. So turns out you actually have to make your own stuff. So I actually don't know how to make a good movement system but thankfully there is something which nowadays you can say is like an indie dev starter pack for Unreal and that is advanced locomotion system. Now what is advanced locomotion system? It's uh, complicated and I don't want to explain it now. Maybe I would make another video on that but for now our locomotion system. But wait, I'm actually not going to use that. Instead, I would make my own system taking reference from ALS. By this, I can actually understand what's happening and it doesn't make any sense to add things which I don't need. So let's focus on things which we actually need and that is animations. And I'm using this software called Cascadia for creating animations. It's free, contains amazing physics and AI tools and is awesome. So made some jogging animations and exported them into Unreal Engine and somehow we have a perfect working locomotion system. Don't ask how. Also added this low cinematic work which makes you feel like a giga chat. Yeah, great work. It's weird but I'm actually complimenting myself. So I have a realization. I don't know if it's right or not but as I said ALS is very complicated so there are lots of things happening under the hood and if the game is multiplayer so these things would happen with lots of instances. That's why I think it's not ideal to use blueprints as it's supposed to be slow. So we shall now convert this all to C++. Now as always I first have to learn how to do it and do you know what happens if you hand a sword to a monkey? If you don't then no worries the monkey also doesn't know. So something similar happened. You will understand if you have ever tried to use Visual Studio with Unreal. So for some reasons I thought C++ works only with the source build version. So I started building it from source which on an average takes me 2 days to build or around 45 to 50 hours. Yeah same thing. And I am saying average because I actually built it several times as I keep messing with the files and it got, sort of got corrupted. The build, sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. In the end, I gave up on source version and tried different permutations and combinations of Visual Studio and Unreal Engine until I found the working one. Now, I am not gonna update it. But thankfully, it's easier to convert blueprints into C++ if you know how C++ works in Unreal Engine. Also, there are some C++ implications of ALS, so things worked out smoothly. Then I also added some new Unreal features like Control Rig for inverse kinematics and what that is? Well, in easy language, just assume that it makes your hand and legs go bendy with respect to ground. Now, the next thing I did was to add replication, which is the Unreal way of saying multiplayer functionality, which works pretty smooth in C++. Now, this is where things go other way than ALS. You know, ALS is very good and all, but stop transitions are a bit wonky. 
so I changed them with my own. Earlier I thought of using distance matching which as the name says match the distance in the world to the animation but I wanted to keep the responsiveness and also there were other problems related to root motion whatever. So I made new custom animations for stop transition for each direction which is uh, not a conventional one which is somewhat better. Okay, that's enough nerd talk for a day. Now it was time to add crouching, stealth walks, sneaky grinders, whatever other names are. And I don't know what happened, I left my PC for some time and when I came back, this guy was crouching perfectly. Well, not that perfect. And here I go, fixed it, now it's looking good. So yeah, earlier about leaving the PC, that was just a joke. So what I did was, Ooh, shut up, no one wants to hear your boring talk. Um, <clears throat> yeah, crouching. So there are a lot of things to add, but it's gonna take some time. So I would leave them for future videos. But I announced this game as a shooting game. And what does shooting games have common? Well, at least a gun. So just wanna end this video on a good note with a gun. Somehow it sounded okay in my head, but now it's weird. Now there are two things I can do. One way was to use motion matching from start, which is nowadays standard corporate way of doing things. But it's the AAA studio way of flexing their budgets by using a lot of mockups, animation data, and it wow. would be a stomachache in the brain to create animations for each and every state. Sure, it would give realistic results, but nah, I ain't doing that. The other way is to use overlay method. Now, I don't expect everyone to understand my gibberish, so I would try my best to make you understand this. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a wave function like this, and there are things such as constructive inference and destructive inference. <clears throat> Let's try this again one more time. So, suppose you have a ball of water and a ball, and if you merge these two things, you'll get a ball in the water ball, or similar resulting image like this. Now, apply this concept to our base animations. Suppose you have a run animation and a pose like this. Then if you overlay the pose of the base animation, you'll get a similar result like this. So by using this, we can apply these pauses on all of our base animations to create new animations, which saves our time from creating them manually. And we can have lots of weapons and object interactions. So our pistol overlay state is ready. And that would be it for this video. So thanks for watching, let me know how you liked the progress up until now. I know I haven't revealed much details, but it's gonna be out soon. One thing you can see for sure is that it's a third person game, not a first person. Just because there are too much FPS nowadays and I am bored of them. So if there's not gonna be a good third person shooter, then I might make one. Again, thanks for being with me until the end. Subscribe to not miss future devlogs. Like this video, share with your friends. Comment your suggestions, hate comments, whatever. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.